Hello there guys, Dow Phoenix here and I'm about to play a game called Cart Life. Cart Life is a retail simulation for Windows which showcases the lives of street vendors in a small city which is located in the western United States. Each of the playable characters has specific goals and special traits but also unique addictions which the player must accommodate in order to succeed within the game. Permits are required but expensive. Is it worth risking a fine to operate without one? The player also needs to accommodate their customers by paying attention to their different tastes, buying habits, and level of patience. Most customers will tip well when their order is filled quickly and accurately, so do your best. So let's get on with the game. And holy crap, um, that is sensory overload. As a matter of fact, um, doesn't that remind you of something that I just recently showed you guys? You know, something that had a crazy-ass tile screen like this? Um, let me show you again. Ah, oh, yes, here it is, my game, Project Sour Lemon. Uh, this game that released way back in the year 2000. As you can see clearly here on the left side of the screen, copyright 2000. I wonder what this game was made, actually. Um, let's see here, what is the uh, date for this? Um, well, I don't really see it. Um, but I actually remember referencing in the game specifically sometime like 2009. So ha! I beat you by nine years with this kind of title screen that has a bunch of irrelevant information and really small text that takes forever to read. Um, this is my freaking patent. I've got this, okay? So you need to back off. You need to redo your title screen, Game Maker, okay? I got here first, okay? I got here first. This is my title screen. Okay, so uh, anyways, um, you know what, uh, it's kind of irrelevant and pointless for me to ramble on about a game ripping off my title screen, which we know is, you know, possibly, you know, not actually happened, but um, yeah, let, let's just play the game, uh, that's what we're here to do, is we're going to play the game, so we're going to start now. Okay, so here we have the first characters. Actually, whoa, two characters, Melanie and Laura. Okay, uh, Melanie Emberly, oh, she runs the coffee hut. She's all about quality and speed. That is like an excellent combination. Quality and speed? I mean, it's awesome. She has $1,560. That's a lot of money. It's more than I got right now. Um, let's see here, uh, Vinny, character locked, oh my god, you're kidding me, he's locked, I don't get to play as Vinny, what, uh, maybe I want to know what Vinny is like, you know, I mean, Vinny seems like a cool guy, and we got Andrus Potter, Andrus Smoking, uh, Andrus has purchased a new stand in Nor Georgetown and rented a room at Breezy's Motel, he has to come with $119 rent by Monday and also 35 for the newspaper contract due on Friday. Yada yada, whatever. I don't know who to play. Um, I'm going to see about this Vinny guy, actually. I'm going to see why I can't play as him at this current juncture. Okay, so I have it all figured out now. Vinny is actually a DLC character. And, um, you know, I have a little bit of a thing to admit, a little problem that I have. I'm really addicted to DLC. Like, anytime I could see, like, the option to buy extra things in games, I'm like, oh, EA, you want me to sell me this game character and this weapon? Oh, I must purchase it. Yes, I must have this gun for five bucks. Oh, Call of Duty, you want me to sell me these maps for $15? I'm gonna buy those. Yeah, so I have to have Vinny, but I'm still gonna play as the free character anyway, I think. Um, I don't know. Let me, uh, let me think about this here. I'll Flip a quick coin, I guess. Um, yeah, we're going to play as this Andrus guy uh, because he's supposedly easy to play as from what I've learned. And since we're new to the game, uh, that's that's a good way to start off. You know, we're going to go ahead and start with him. Winners don't use drugs. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I'm sure he really said that. Um, so uh, why am I just at these doors? Uh uh, well, it says begin game in this door. Do we really want to, though? Uh, what? <laughs> it's a freaking Atari sounds, man. What's up with that? Choo-choo-choo! Yeah, there we go. 
And now we got some foreign language and nobody understands. I don't know. It's probably uh, Egyptian or some bullshit like that. You know, but McRib, McRub. Did you see that? It's just McRub up there. <laughs> no, it's McRib, not McRub. A tax. No, I don't think we want taxes, okay? Ahead the stars. What, 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 what's this you're talking about, game? I, I don't get this. Look how sad this guy looks. So, I mean, he looks like he's, like, regretting life. You know, he's like, yep, today is the day I'm going to kill myself. Uh, how are you doing there, newspaper person? I just need a good place to slip my throat. Uh, yeah, scratch my uh, belly first. You know, kind of have to do that sometimes when you're 40. Uh, I want to go ahead and take, you know, get get a last drink of beer. Uh, why can't I go in the bar? Uh, why can't I go in that abandoned book and warehouse place? I guess I'll talk to this newspaper person. What? <laughs> Charlie Brown. You know? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, epic dialogue here. <laughs> yeah, uh, check. Yeah, I'm just going to write you a check for $2,000 right now to buy this newspaper stand. <laughs> I'm going to ditch town. Because <laughs> I don't have any money in that checking account, bitch. Okay, well, you're the one that's falling for it, so I'll buy the stand, I guess. Yeah, you should get out of here. This is my stand now. I did not invite you here. No, I think I know how to run a newspaper stand. You just put some newspapers and then you take people's money when they take a newspaper. That seems pretty self-explanatory to me. Uh, doesn't seem like I need like a tutorial on how to sell newspapers. I mean, come on. We had games like Paperboy. You just ride around a bicycle and you hit a button to throw a newspaper. We didn't need a tutorial for that shit, did we? No, we just through our newspapers so like I don't need a tutorial on how to sell them okay so we got at this motel weekly monthly rates why would you want to stay here for a month oh my god we have a fucking cat yes yes it, it's like the ugliest cat ever but I'm so glad we have a cat that's cool yeah we're just gonna stroll around a bit here and yeah, I guess I'll guess I'll go in Vance's storyline, if there is any. I don't know. It probably is. It's everybody's got their own unique Charlie Brown voice. A few weeks, maybe. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, you pay every week. You pay here, understand? Is everybody here, like, foreign immigrants? You know, the way they talk. That weekly rate you pay now also. Yes, good. Okay. I'm going to write you a check because I don't carry cash. I'd rather have my checkbook stolen and someone, you know, take all my money and not be able to do anything about it. No pets and no guests. Well, I got a cat. I got a cat, okay? When is it? Why did I even hit that key? I was... Paying attention to what you were saying, bald guy. Both of them are bald. Look at that. Um, you know, speaking of which, uh, the guy I'm playing as, he looks like Louis C.K. I'm not kidding. I'm going to show you right now. Louis, 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 Louis. Louis, 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 Louis. Or, um, you know, actually, now that I think about it, you think about this guy, he's like about probably 40 years old or so, and he's bald, and he's got the big beard, and he's got a fucking goofiest walk ever, look at that, oh my god, <laughs> oh. he's bringing disco back. help it it's just hilarious uh. <laughs> what the fuck did this say on the side of the building i wasn't paying attention i can't go in a2 i can't go in a4 either which one was it a3 okay here we go i think
<laughs> I just, I could have finished my uh, thought, you know, like, he walks like he's constipated constantly. Oh, I can't even fuck out. <laughs> he even bent down like he's about to take a shit. He's just going to take a shit right there on the coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh, the people who animated this shit <laughs> need to learn pixel art. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so we're apparently gonna get the cat some uh, shit now. Um, uh, apparently, Andrews didn't even think about packing clothes or nothing. He's like. I just got my little cat shed. I'm gonna take him on. Don't become what you hate. Oh, okay, that's what it said. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good advice. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, I guess this is like an over map or something. Um, let's see. Superstore. Yeah, that sounds like a good place to go. I mean, we'll see what else we have here. Mm. Oh, downtown. Okay. They're probably gonna charge an arm and a lake for everything because... That's how downtown goes, but I don't know. Let's uh, go there. Maybe they have a pet store or something. Um, we'll take the bus and uh, look like a pathetic bozo while we're at it. <laughs> even said fuck you on the bench. Awesome. Five-star meats. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Oh, the catacombs. They just happen to be next to the hotel. That's an excellent thing. <laughs> Yeah, the grocery store. Uh, we need food, so let's get some food. Oh, whoa, I guess my guy's got a bit of a cough, huh? Um, let's see. Um, in house business, you don't even know who I am. Oh, wait, no, uh, oh, it is, yeah, it's that guy that sold us a stand. He works at the grocery store. How pathetic of you. <laughs> You're a grocery man. Let's see, the big veggie big witch of lighter, brennies, cat litter. Yeah, let's uh, buy the cat vittles. I don't know what vittles are. Um, I have two cats. I've never heard of vittles, so uh, maybe someone can tell me what those are. I've never heard of them. Like, there's a bunch of junk food here. There's, like, no real food in this store. It's, like, all condiments and... Uh, you know, base products of food or whatever, but it's not real food. You know? <laughs> Why can't my guy get some motherfucking pasta or... Jeez. You got a little bit of a cough there, bro. You need to chill that down. Hey, there's a, a black woman there. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Uh, try our locally made buttermilk. Yeah, I don't know if I want to... Uh, try that buttermilk that probably came from that guy's breasts. Um, I don't know why I'm going... Ah, shit. You need to go to the doctor, dude. That's a pretty crazy cough you got there. Okay, um... Music. Uh, Roboro Volt by Lobat. Yeah, you can't hear the music because I turned it off so that I can, you know, do copyright, you know, or, you know, do a claim on my video, uh, whatever, we got, uh, we got our, uh, cat's food, so I guess we'll go ahead and go back, we can wait till the morning to eat ourselves, I guess, cough some more, oh, uh, oh, okay, I see, let's see, sleep, he's got no sleep and cigarette, he's got no cigarette, oh, okay, that's probably why he's coughing, at least in this game's logic. Oh, you you cough because you haven't smoked. <laughs> you know, you have to smoke to not cough. You know, like, it's ridiculous, but whatever. We'll go by game's logic here. Let's see our inventory. Well, cat vittles are clearly not the cigarette. Uh, old Brinnies. Okay, here we go. The, this is it right here. Hello, Surgeon General's warning. Yep, duh. Uh, here he's lighting up. Oh my god! Whoa! Shit! Oh wow! That looks so cool, man! That was so cool! Like, I mean, this guy, you know, that he really had that daydream, like, you know, that it just went, you know, like, in his lungs, and he was, you know, like, all on top of the world and shit. That's crazy, man! 
That is. Whoa! What the fuck? Look at that guy! You see how fast he's running across the screen? <laughs> he looked like he was about to mug me. Um. So yeah, I guess this is the end of our first day in city life or city life, cart life. Whatever. They, they could have called it city life. That would make more sense. Um. Yeah. Watch that cat launch away. He's an ugly ass cat, isn't he? Guess we'll go to sleep, um, but then we'll go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Gotta brush our teeth. Look how much hair that uh, is on that guy's back. Or maybe they could be pimples, I guess, too. I I'm betting hair. Uh, you know, thinking of which, this guy... Oh, my God. What? It's so gross. Look how hairy his back is. And it's, his butt is just, like, deformed. Look, it's like a mutated butt. Well, um... That was the first day of cart life. Um, uh, we'll see you again for the next day, guys. Uh, so with that, down Phoenix out. I think. Uh, wait, what? what's this? Oh, shit. We have a dream sequence. So I guess we can at least um, do that first. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. The fuck disco walk. Michael Jackson. <laughs> His soul went into this bald guy's body <laughs> yes all right yep have another dream we gotta take a shit <clears throat> okay well seriously uh, yeah that's it for now down phoenix out